So people have asked me many times, why do you study the Bible when you're not even Christian or Jewish? Hey, I'm Dr. Nan. I'm a religionist, ancient historian, and mythologist, and I teach in the College of Liberal Arts. I have a bachelor's degree in religious studies, a master's degree in religious studies, and a PhD in religious studies with a focus on Hebrew Bible and ancient Near Eastern history and archeology. span Why would I spend so much time on the Bible if it's not even part of my own faith. There's a lot of reasons, actually. This is gonna take more than one TikTok. Now, part of my work is in mythology. I have a second master's in mythology, by the way. And mythology and history very often overlap. Mythology, for my purposes, is any story that creates part of your identity. It's part of the foundation of who you are as an individual, as a community, a political party, as a religious group, as any number of groups from very small to very big. So just because I call something mythic does not mean that it may not be historical. Very often, I simply can't say much about it historically because I don't have data. And that's the whole point of history having data. But why study the Bible? Well, it's part of the American mythology. We are deeply, deeply rooted in a Christian heritage, and a lot of that pulls on the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew Bible and the New Testament create a sort of backbone of mythology for the United States. Another reason why I study the Bible is because History in general, but the Bible in particular, is used for making claims about what other people want you to believe as factual. They use the Bible to create authority. Well, it says it in the Bible, but does it? The fact is, most people have no idea how complex that history is, especially of the Hebrew Bible, and the New Testament is no cakewalk either. All of that stuff has a very particular historical context, cultural context. There's a lot of messing with the text in there. For example, did you know that in Genesis, there are two very different creation stories? They do not agree. So anyone who comes to you and says something like, oh, well, in Genesis, it says that woman was made from man and therefore, blah, 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 and they will continue with the theology. Number one, that's only one of the two creation stories. In the other creation story, man and woman were made at the same time. Number two, that's a theology. That's their interpretation of that story. There's a whole host of problems that can be raised in the text, but that's just the beginning. We're going to keep going with this. Till next time, see you later.